I'm doing a vlog. It just started right now. So my husband's in it right there. Oh, he's leaving. Hi. Say hi. Hello. All right. So we are taking a break at Olympia and I just wanted to give what our thoughts are because if you're trying to choose a tour then you can maybe listen to this so we're gonna save our final I guess grade until the end So, first get a different tripod, but no, we just left the um, tour that's part of the Viking included tour. Um, so if you're traveling on Viking and you're trying to decide if you're going to take any of the um, included tours, this is one that's um, one that is available. Thank you. All right. So I'm gonna get my husband's opinion too. So, this one, it left the boat this morning at like 9.30. And what I liked about it is that you didn't have to really get up much earlier. So 10 minutes ahead of time, walk straight out to the buses. And then um, what I really liked is that there's tons of buses, they're always on time. It's easy, they have the little, um, paddles that have the numbers so all of that part's really easy and I like these little devices here so they give you these cool devices from Viking with the whole earpiece and everything so I, I do like that it's in your room so don't forget to take it because I just put mine in my backpack the first day and I didn't even know I was gonna need it so that was helpful so anyway, you want that because you really want to be able to hear everything that they're saying. And in this case, you really need it because when we got to the archaeological site or the ruins, there's really a lot of things that you're just not going to know. And because you're essentially walking in and looking at, you know, let's just be honest, rocks, unless you're with a guide, it's, it's going to mean very, very, very little. Um, so that part I liked. Those were the pros is that normally I'm not really a big tour guide person and I'll tell you later if I am if this changed my mind, but I think that definitely you have to have a tour guide for this one. Don't you think? Yeah, so I think we agree. You have to have a tour guide. So um, our tour was scheduled to be a total of four hours, but it was going to also include the city of Olympia, so about about three hours here at the archaeological site. So overall, like definitely worth the trip here. Definitely want to be able to see the home of the original Olympic Games and to understand that completely like 10 out of 10. So the downsides. Um, we are at the, I guess, beginning of the low season, so you would think that it would be cooler but it's actually about 78 degrees today, which is actually really warm when it's nothing covered. So you gotta keep that in mind. So bring plenty of water. They did not have any, they don't have water. And I'm gonna tell you, not really even any slowdowns for you to get water. So we brought our own water. Backpack is a must. Water is a must. Um, our tour guide was great, but she was definitely like going straight through all the information and um, probably a little bit longer at each area than it maybe needed to be. But I think because they wanted to make it a longer tour, they spent a lot more time describing each area. And if you're not a huge history buff, then I don't know if you need that much time. So probably halfway through, we were ready to kind of get a beverage, which we ended up getting this wonderful strawberry lemonade mix. So the museum shop is a, a plus. My husband had to talk me into coming up here because I didn't want to come up here, but he was right. This is really good and refreshing. And we're out here on the like a veranda 
courtyard. So overall, I would say absolutely make the trip, but you may want to have the tour guide at the beginning and just nicely say to them that you're going to either like find your way back to the bus in a minute or re rejoin the group. So right now, when we're actually doing this um, vlog, our group is in the town. So we have an hour of our own and they said we could either choose to do the museum or we could come into the town. So I chose to do the museum so I could get some time just to kind of relax, take it all in and get things on my own pace because I really do like things that are on my own pace. So this was nice. So we're getting a little bit of a break. But I would say if you are on the island, if you are on a cruise, definitely make the trip, but just manage your expectations that you absolutely do not need more than like two hours. Absolutely not. So anyway, we'll keep posted on our next stop. And I think that's going to be Croatia. So we're on the Viking cruise and just giving our opinions about if it's worth going. And so far, yeah, so far, I think that we, we think we, I think we're at an eight out of 10 right now. What would you say? Eight out of 10, okay. All right, so tune in, more to come. Stop. <laughs> you may have broke 